Hi guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new to my channel, this is my weight loss, health, fitness journey. And this channel is dedicated to me becoming a better version of myself. It has not been a linear journey. Most journeys, I would argue, are not. And I have definitely had some struggles. I've had some moments where I have given up on myself. But then I've also had moments of success. I've had moments where I have been able to push through the pain, push through this desire to give up on myself, and have seen it through. So if you've been following my journey for this long, I really appreciate your support. And if you're new and you're on your own journey uh, towards health and fitness, well-being, please comment below. I've really enjoyed the community here. It's a, an amazing community where I feel like I am not only holding myself accountable, but because I make the videos, it, it's another way of um, you guys holding me accountable. So I appreciate that. Okay, so let's talk about my week. This time I'm hoping to have some time stamps down below. So if you are more interested in a particular aspect of this video, you can just go ahead and click right on it. I'll even put the timestamp that will be my way in for the week. If that's really all you're here for, go for it. I fully support what you want to do with your YouTube viewing experience. So it was a fun week, but it wasn't necessarily a keto week or a low carb week. However, it was a great week for tracking, which was sort of my goal after Sunday. We are about to go to a baseball game and we have like these boxed seats. There's gonna be lots of food. That's not gonna be keto friendly. This is officially day seven of doing keto and there is a huge part of me that just wants to stick to it. But then there's another part of me that I think I might wanna to switch to just like a calorie deficit. So I'm gonna just track what I'm eating and how much of it I'm eating and just like hope that it's not like too bad. And then hopefully the weigh in on Friday is something that I'm happy with. So there actually wasn't a ton of food at this baseball game. They had nachos, but what that meant was a giant platter of meat and cheese and then some chips that you could just take and put on your plate. So it was actually very, very good for keto because I just didn't eat the chips. However, I did eat popcorn. So for me, that still wasn't a low carb keto day, but it was a good calorie counting day. In terms of calorie counting, what I've been really trying to do is go back to writing everything down. I think I said last week in my video that the goal that I had for myself this week was to start tracking again. And that means tracking the things where I, you know, where, where I slip up. It has to be, I have to have a way to hold myself accountable. And so I wanted to show you guys what that looked like this week. All right, so I wanted to show you guys how I've been tracking this week because uh, as you'll see, I was not doing uh, keto. I was just tracking calories and it's just kind of interesting how it all sort of worked out. Um, by the way, this is a Remarkable 2. I recently purchased this and it's actually been one of the best purchases I've ever made so far. It's super helpful for organizing files without having all the paper and everything. So this was Saturday, June 25th. I am also trying to weigh in every single day just so I have a sense of where I'm at um, every single day and so that I'm not, you know, surprised by the weigh in that's going to happen on uh, Friday. So Saturday I did pretty okay. Uh, calorie wise, I hit 1340, which for me is excellent. So that was definitely a deficit day. On average, I think I burn about 2200 calories according to my Apple Watch, and that has been pretty reliable. Um, the carbs were 15. So this is actually a very good keto day for me. And then we move on to the next day. Let's see, you can see like I, that worked. I lost some weight. My weight was 178.6. This day, I again hit a pretty low calorie for, for me, um, and but you'll see that I actually ate carbs. Like that's my total for carbs that day. So I definitely did not stick to keto, but I was able to hit my calorie uh, deficit. 
This day I did not do a great job tracking because I ended up going out to dinner and this is a total estimation. So it's just a guess. It's like a rough guess. So I just didn't even really bother with that one. Um, and so I just kind of, I still weighed in 179.2. Um, but then Tuesday was 179.0, which was weird because that previous day was like, I didn't really track anything. Um, I love when that happens. I can't really explain why that happens, but I love when that happens. This day was not a good day. This was a surplus day. Um, we, oh gosh, we ended up buying uh, junk food. I'm just gonna be totally honest about that. And I ended up eating a whole bag of Trader Joe's truffle potato chips. I'm not proud of that, but I wanted to be honest with myself and track it and show you guys like that's what happened. Wednesday, the same sort of thing happened where I was trying to do keto was really trying hard. This is a pizza slice that's low carb. But then I ended up having more chips and I, I ate some French fries and then we went out for Mexican and I just estimated 500. I didn't eat a ton there, but this was definitely not a keto friendly day. And then yesterday, I think I did really well. Um, and, and what's interesting again is my weigh in, I had gained weight from that day, the last two days, but not as much weight as I was expecting to gain. So I find that, I find that interesting in terms of like the overall week. Um, but this day was a good day. And then as you guys know, I will share my weigh in at the end of the video. So yeah, overall it was a pretty, good experience uh, tracking things down because then I can reflect back and look at, okay, that day I clearly had a surplus of calories. I think that was on a Wednesday or maybe it was a Tuesday. I had too many calories, but I think I offset that with the other days where I clearly was in a calorie deficit. So at the end of the day, at the end of the week, things balance themselves out. So the foods that I was uh, eating when I was trying to do more of a low carb keto, um, it's important for me to have some variety in that, otherwise I will just get bored of the food. And one of the new snacks that I purchased uh, this last week, they are these keto-friendly chips that I think I've mentioned on this channel before, but I wanted to have my friend do a quick review on what he thought of this like low-carb snack. These are, is it called Hilo or Hilo? I'm not sure, let's say Hilo. Right. Hilo. What Hilo flavor? Life. Got the nacho cheese chips. Almond flour tortilla style chips. Maybe I just gotta start from the bottom. Should we cut and take two? Should we take some scissors? Cut. Take two. <laughs> Alright. Mm, looks like a Dorito. Crunch is like a Dorito. Does it taste like nacho a Nacho cheese. As expected, I should probably stop saying Doritos. <laughs> so do you like it? I love it. It hits the spot. It's cool. a chip. Yeah, and we so there's three different flavors that I got. Just I got the like variety pack again. There's the salsa flavor. There's I think the ranch flavor, and then there is the nacho cheese flavor that my friend tried. Um, and each bag of chips is roughly I think it's three carbs, so three net carbs, and then it's 150 calories per bag. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good chip alternative. That being said, clearly it wasn't good enough for me when I ate the truffle chips from Trader Joe's. So I, I want to be real about this. Like it's not a chip, but if you are trying to do something where you're not going to go eat chips from Trader Joe's that are just delicious and truffly, then this is a good alternative. Uh, I think they're better than the Quest chips personally. Okay, so now for my weigh-in. Last week's video, I weighed in at 180.2, got on the scale this morning, and I am now 179.2. Back in the 170s, super, super excited about that. I said last time, like, I've been really happy with the fact that I've been maintaining my initial weight loss from doing a 12-week keto reset. So that weight loss was like 10 to 12 pounds, and I have been able to successfully maintain that while going off keto, while having days where I'm eating those chips or like I'm going out to a baseball game, I feel like I'm able to 
coast right now until I'm ready to get started with another like strict sort of plan or challenge, which I, I'm planning to do once I go back home. Once I go back home, which will be July 15th, I will have my routine again and I, I'm going to kind of like sit down and figure out what am I actually going to do that's going to cause me to lose weight again. Right now, I really feel like I'm just maintaining and I'm, I'm honestly not mad about it at all. So looking ahead, obviously coming up is the 4th of July. Um, fireworks, hot dogs, like all the things that, you know, you, you want to celebrate the 4th of July with, they're going to be available. There's a couple of festivals and live music options that we might check out. So if I get a chance to film any of that, I will. But I am planning to try to track or at least be aware of what I'm eating and how much I'm eating and what I'm drinking and how much I'm drinking. Uh, and, and just kind of just see if I can maintain either a 180 or 179 for next week. That, that's going to be my goal. But the other thing that's happening is that on Tuesday, I'm actually flying to Malibu to be with my mom for a week for her birthday. So I will most likely not be uploading a video for you guys next week. I hope to get a lot of good footage though. We're going to be hiking every single day. When I am with my mom, we hike like hardcore hiking. The longest hike that we went on last time we went to Malibu was 16 miles. So I told her, I said, mom, we have to try to beat that. We either have to do 16 again, or we have to try to beat it. So I'm not going to be worrying about what I'm eating because I know that I'm going to be burning so many calories when I'm just hiking, you know, in the mountains in Malibu. So I uh, will, again, like I said, most likely give you guys a video update in two weeks from now. Uh, so don't expect one next week. So that is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. And again, if you are on a weight loss journey yourself, please comment below. I really want to get to know you. And if you have a channel, I want to go support your channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in two weeks.